All right, so first look at a game called Arkcraft, The Rebirth of the World via Steam Next Fest. You can check out the demo there. And we are going to start up a new single player game. And as I'm going through the single player game, I'm going to have a deep dive that's going to go over the summary of the game. So let's turn on the deep dive and let me get the game started. All right, everyone. Buckle up, because we are diving headfirst into something really cool today. I'm excited. It's called Artcraft, the rebirth of the world. Oh, I've heard of this. Yeah, it's got a really unique premise, even if the name might sound a little familiar at first. Yeah, I was just going to say crafting games. We've seen a bunch, but... But this one looks like it's got a really interesting story to it. So okay. the world's on the brink of disaster. Okay. Total societal collapse. Oh, no. And you're given this last ditch chance to rebuild. Mm -hmm. And the way you do that is by building an ark. Oh, like a biblical ark. Exactly. Wow. So we're talking. So are we talking like a historically accurate ark or? Well, that's the neat part. You get to customize it. Okay. So yeah, you're gathering resources. You're managing all these different systems. This is like a whole ecosystem you're building. Exactly. You've got to populate it with animals and plants. Oh, wow. It's this delicate balancing act. So it's not just about building a big boat. It's about making sure everything on it survives. Yeah, and thrives. I wonder how in depth the customization goes. Well, they're talking about both skill trees and tech trees. Oh, interesting. So you can specialize. So yeah, you could focus on like shipbuilding or maybe animal husbandry or- and maybe even like, I don't know, hydroponics. Yeah, exactly. To keep your plants alive. And then on top of all that, there's this whole world to explore. There is? I thought it was just the Ark. Right. So it's not just about the Ark itself, but the world is flooded, right? Okay. But there are these different biomes. Yep. They mention scorching deserts and these dense jungles. Hmm. And you have to go out and explore these areas to find resources, but... To keep your Ark afloat. Exactly. To keep everything going. But also, and this is the really intriguing part, oh, it's they keep hinting at these mysterious ruins scattered throughout the world. Ooh, ruins. Okay, now that is interesting. Yeah, what's the story behind those? Yeah, what happened to the people who built those? Were they wiped out by the flood? Right, were they trying to warn future generations? Hmm, I'm getting some real Indiana Jones vibes from this. Me too, a little bit, yeah. Okay, so we've got this ark, we've got to keep it afloat, we've got to go out, we've got to explore these ruins, find resources. And then, and this is like, I think, where the real heart of the game lies. Okay. The flood eventually recedes. Okay, that does. But yeah. then you have to rebuild society. Wow, so there's a whole other phase to this. It's not just about surviving the flood, it's about what comes after. And what does come after, you know, is it peaceful? Do we have to worry about these creatures that made it through? Or Well, they've mentioned these mysterious creatures that pose a threat. Oh, really? So it seems like it's not just, you know, rebuilding houses and farms. So we've got to defend ourselves too. Yeah, there's some danger out there. I wonder if these creatures are somehow connected to the ruins, like maybe they're guardians of some sort. Oh, uh, that's a really interesting thought. Or maybe they were experiments gone wrong, you know, from the past civilization. Right. Something out of oh. the ordinary. Yeah. And now they're guarding their secrets or their remnants of what was. And the choices you make during the rebuilding process, they could even influence what these creatures become. Oh, interesting. So our actions have consequences. Like if you pursue technology really aggressively, maybe you pollute the environment. Right. And that further mutates the creatures. Right. Or maybe if you're really focused on harmony with nature. You know, living sustainably. Maybe you can coexist peacefully. Interesting. It's really a game about choices and consequences. That sounds really compelling, yeah. I just love games that make you really think about the impact of your actions. Me too. It's not just about clicking as fast as you can. Right. There's real weight to your decisions. It's about leaving a legacy. A world that you can be proud of. Exactly. I kind of want to play this now. Right. It's like, what kind of world would you create? Yeah, that's the question, isn't it? Given a blank slate. Would you repeat the mistakes of the past? Or would you try to forge a new path? I don't know about you, but I'm ready to set sail. Let's build an arc. All right. So there goes the deep dive. I think the deep dive did a really good job of the summary there. Okay, so I started the uh, the game, it told me to make a, a workbench, a, a camping thing, and now it wants me to go hunting. Now it says craft the wooden spear, I already did that, and it's hunt the, hunt the animal and then cook. Let's see if we get lucky here with some animals we can find. Oh, 
Hopefully we can find something nearby. Is there a little map? Okay, there is a map. Player farm village. Oh, we got something over here. It's like some carrots. Village. Tribe. Farm. All right. Let's try, try going this way. This other problem with not hunting animals. There's no animals to hunt. Okay, here we go. We got some noise. Whoa. Wow, I almost died there. Almost came out of nowhere. Alright, so slowly my thing is coming back. My HP is slowly coming back. You have a hunger meter, uh, a stamina, and then a water meter on the bottom. Let's use the campfire. meat there let's make that got another two points
Cut some skills. Tech tree. Aftermath tree. Faith level. Task completed. All right, now it wants me to craft a building plan, build a small sawmill, build a foundation. All right, so there's no building plan there. Um, I don't see any building plan thing here either craft a building plan let's build a house we need the building plan to build your new house before we can access the blueprint you need to research some skills and tech in your inventory, left click on the side of okay. You can gain skills and points with XP. Click on the light. All right, so we gotta get we gotta get stuff over here going. Building plan requires one skill point. So I guess you just gotta level up a bit to get this. What can we do to level up? Just gather, I guess. Fiber. Coarse leather. Craft somehow from hide. So I don't have any any recipe things for um for clothing but I do have stuff for rope Let's chop down some trees 20 HP.
surely I must be getting close to getting another level. Does it tell you anywhere the levels? Experience. Okay, 1,600, 2,000, or 2,500. Make a bunch of rope. I'm curious to see if you get an XP for that. Can't make this. Can make that. Okay, so with rope you can get simple basket and I, I'm assuming simple basket is the beginner the beginner container for just dumping stuff in there. And then here, you mix stuff together, and you make that stuff. I could make some of it, so why not? This, I don't think I'm getting any credit for. another animal and there that went oh here's the loot okay one thing of food
Hmm, can this be repaired? Control, drop item, craft. Totally need to get this thing done. Can't do anything over there. Need another two hundred so points. Oh my god, I get chopped down already. 20 points. This is not working good at all. And I don't have the thing to make the, the, the other tool.
All right, another lizard. I need like one more kill. Let's see now. Okay, so you got available skill points. Building plan, and then you have the basic tools. Interesting. Young deer. Okay, I just caught the deer. All right, so I think that's the general gist of the game. Standard survival game. As you level up, you unlock greater skills and tech tree to make better things. Here's your skills. And then it's the main character stats. All right, so again, this game is called Arkcraft, The Rebirth of the World, and you can find it on Steam.